section, we use sine, cosine, and tangent to find the missing links. But these functions do more than that. They can also find missing angles. Look at this. We have a 10-foot tall ladder, and we want to use it to reach the top of an 8-foot wall. What is the angle that will be made by the ladder on the ground? Let's see what we know. We know that the height of the wall is 8 feet, and the length of the ladder is 10 feet. And the unknown is the measure of our angle here. So we have an angle to measure from and two sides. This side, across from the right angle, is the hypotenuse. And this side is opposite our angle. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. Let's look to so ka toa opposite and hypotenuse. That means we use the sine function. So sine of x is equal to 8 over 10. When we are solving for the measure of an angle, we are really taking the inverse of our function. So, on your calculator, press the second button, then hit the sine button to bring up the inverse of sine. Then enter the lengths. Inverse sine of 8 over 10 equals 53.13 degrees. That's it. Let's try another. Here we have a right triangle, and we know two of the sides. Let's solve for the measure of angle x. First, find what we know. This is the hypotenuse, and this side next to the angle is the adjacent. Now we look to so, ka, toa, hypotenuse and adjacent. We can use cosine. So the cosine of x is equal to 10 over 12. On our calculator, we first hit the second button, then cosine to bring up the inverse cosine, then enter our lengths, 10 over 12. And that's it. Our angle measures 33.557 degrees. Remember, first list out what you know and what you're looking for. Then use the sides you have labeled to determine which function to use. And finally, when solving for a missing angle, you want to use the inverse of the function. On your calculator, press the second button, then press your function. And that's how you use the trigonometric functions to solve for a missing angle.